Welcome back to Mental <laughs> Lemonade, everybody. We missed you. Yay. Uh, we, we were gone for a little bit, and uh, you guys had reached out to us. It was really, really nice. A lot of people were like, hey, we want to see some more episodes. And today I want to talk about the first time I played D&D and what I really learned about it. Okay. And I'm here with my homie Daniel, who's with uh, Chronicles of the Coast. Hey, everybody. <laughs> So you guys thought, but what's the best place to catch you on Twitch or YouTube or both? Best place to catch us is on Twitch um, because we play there every Wednesday about seven o'clock, and we do post our videos to YouTube afterwards. That's PM. Um, PM. Yeah, PM. 7 Bro, PM. who's who's getting up at seven a.m. to do D and D? I'm not. I don't know. There's got to be some people. I'm not in the crowd, <laughs> yeah. man. But I know mm-hmm. that people are. That's so true. No, That's I, true. I, I like that. But uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, seven p.m. I can see that coffee in dungeons. Yeah. Yeah, 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 donuts and donuts. Donut. Oh, D and D. Oh, damn it. That's so much <laughs> yes, better. Yes. A lot of people in the yeah. uh, field just are all nighters, and so like that's like it's their true. true. Bedtime yeah. is seven a.m. Mm-hmm. Well, I I'm one of those guys that had never actually played D and D before. I've always been into nerdy things, um, but I'd never never really found a group or, or had an opportunity. So I was I was stoked when Daniel asked me if I'd come and check yeah. out the show and you know, do a little bit of cross promoting there. Mm-hmm. Um, you never played. Producer Crystal mm-hmm. hasn't played. So, like, really, you have the expertise on the field here. Right. Um, I want to say that when I – one of the first things I noticed was how important the DM was to the yeah. whole setup. So the, the, can you kind of give us a short explanation of what the DM is? Sure. Um, so the DM's job essentially is to – tell the story and paint the world the picture of the world that the players are going to be in um you know he just describes what they experience and what happens does this like experience the big bang theory like with what's his name does like with all the the, uh impressions (laughs) and whatnot yeah yeah i I think you're in the right in in the right space there yeah they play um D &D like two times on big bang theory okay and then Um, and then what's his name the uh sheldon or which guy the the small one is mary's the blonde one (laughs) Oh, uh, uh, How- uh, Howard. Yeah. yeah. Howard. Yeah. Howard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then he, he does all the explanations and does all the impersonations. Is that the DM? Is he the DM? You're playing D&D. <laughs> You're playing D&D. This whole apartment <laughs> is playing D&D. Is Howard, is, is the show I'm the DM? As a lay oh. person. I don't what's, remember what's that. What's the but, DM? But yeah, yeah, okay, so... DM stands for Dungeon Master. Okay. Oh, I yeah, I think so, probably. I so. Yeah. And, and your guys is in your group in Chronicles of the Coast. It's Jesse, is that right? Yeah, he's the, okay. he's the DM. So um, Jesse painted the picture of the world we were playing. And uh, what was the, do you know, is there a name of the kind of... Uh, like the, the place? Yeah, yeah. Like, is there a, is there a, a setting name for that yeah, plan yeah. that we played the or whatever? World so or? there's two ways, kind of, to play D D as far as like a place goes right you can have a homebrew which is like something that you and your friends have created over time it's a mm-hmm. place a sort of world of your own choosing you know um and you build it together collaboratively or you can do uh one of the worlds of like wizards of the coast which is the creators of dungeons and dragons yeah. have like created a, like a, for like you. a pre-planned yeah kinda. yeah, okay. yeah okay. like a pre-planned kind of world basically okay so we do a homebrew world and it's called a marth okay yeah um I noticed when when he was kind of explaining things to me, um, bro, he is good. It was almost like hypnotic. Like he's looking me yeah. in the eyes and he's explaining this world, and he's doing so good. I I, I picture it instantly. The first day, you set out. Your hike is optimistic. The sun is out. There's no wind. It's it's warm. What you can consider warm for a late fall type of day. But eventually you come across a creature that doesn't seem to belong in this particular area, or more so that you come across the footprints. And this is where Matari, you see something on the road, and you're like, well, that's that's really strange. So yeah. when did you guys play? Uh, you, you, so you, went, you tried it out? Is that what happened? I did. I played one game, and then I planned on doing a second one, and then I got COVID. So I yeah. didn't go back, oh. and my character died. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. Oh, oh he's, he's still, still alive? alive. Yeah, oh, okay. He's still alive. Oh, yeah. okay. He's still alive, but he got yeah. COVID. Um, <laughs> yeah. He got yeah, sick with it. Yeah. You know, one, thing, one of the things that I noticed, um, I thought it was just going to be like rolling dice, like Vegas style, you know, yeah. like like I'm shooting mm-hmm. craps. But um, it's, it's more about story, but also... Um, 
you guys are kind of like a like a rock band. Okay. All right. Go on. So you're you're in a basement. You guys all have you know your gear, so to speak, and um, there's a. The DM is the uh, the lead singer. You got, yeah, you got I like you it. Know, dudes on bass and, okay. and and the whole group <laughs> together like creates this awesome thing. And that's what that's kind of what I think, you know. Yeah, uh, you know when people ask me what's D and D, you know, I, I definitely it's a collaborative uh, role playing game. You know where you just kind of you get together with your friends, man, and and you kind of you kind of riff off of each other. And uh, I noticed that you guys have been playing together for a few mm-hmm. years, and you guys work together really well. It was my first time, and I know I mentioned this to you, but um, John that we work with. Yeah. Uh, I was, he he met me, and um, I didn't recognize him because he was in uh, Insane Clown Posse yes. makeup. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Halloween episode. It I was to theme. top it all off. Yeah. So he was yeah. in a, a wizard robe with, <laughs> yeah. with, with face paint, and yeah. uh, I didn't recognize him. And Is that I was, unusual? Yeah, what, what's that? Is that, is that unusual? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not every day. No, That's I mean, not like, in, in, you know, is that just me? It was my first time. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> that was my first but time. here's the thing, yeah. Carl. I was lost trying to find the place. <laughs> yeah. Google gave yeah. me some, some shoddy directions. Yeah. And I was, like, going up and down the street to Stark, and I see this guy come out of the driveway <laughs> in full <laughs> wizard gear yeah. in insane clown posse makeup. Yeah. And I roll down my window... And I go, uh, is this the place for D&D? <laughs> and he's like, and definitely he, weary traveler. And he just kind of, just, yeah, just kind of like waved me in, you know? Uh, and I was like, well, I'm either going to yeah. die or this is my first quest. Right? Yeah. You've accepted your mission at Yes, but it'll take three riddles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Another yeah. thing I, I learned by playing D and D for the first time is rolling the dice is much harder than it looks. I thought I was gonna be like hitting twenties every time. Oh yeah, bro. yeah. I thought I was gonna be nailing it. No man. And uh, I yeah. had Same some. Guys. Uh, I had some shit throws, dude. Yeah, yeah. I had some really <laughs> bad ones. I was like, Ugh. you know, when you like uh, you try something and you feel really bad about it instantly. So what do what do the numbers mean? What so do do? let's Daniel. Let's kind of give her an idea. Like if I was if I was attacking something, mm-hmm. what would be what's needed? What's kind of okay? And what's what happens if I do awful? So, it and this is like one of the best parts about D anD D, right? Because you play this larger than life hero, okay? And you know you're coming up against uh, some goblins, you know, or some orcs or something, you know, Lord of the Rings style. And you're like, I pull out my amazing sword that's on fire, and I smack a goblin with it, right? Yeah. At least that's what you intend. That sounds doing, awesome. Right? It sounds great, <laughs> you know? Uh, but instead, you roll a one on your die, oh. and guess what? Something probably very opposite of what you intended happened. Maybe you tripped in the mud along the way, <laughs> you slide face down, the flame okay. on your fire goes out, and the orcs laugh at you, oh. and they remind themselves that meat is back on the menu. Freaking orcs, <laughs> you know? Oh. And so <laughs> yeah. that, you know, that's kind of a D and D vibe, right? There. Okay, I like that they laugh man. at him. Like, yes, yeah. <laughs> that's the best part. Yeah. That's the tone. Uh-huh. <laughs> so um, yeah, so awesome. that, that's dice, and you know, you you succeed or or fail based on the the roll of the dice, and of course, there's all kinds of different variables, and depending on what you're playing and all this other stuff, and that's the rules of it. But the gist of it is is that. Okay, uh, Carl, do you remember when we had a bowling league? Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> Snowflake champions. Snowflake bitch. doubles. That's right. Yeah, yeah. We, we did. Yeah. Uh, what did we get? Second place? <laughs> I don't like know. That. Hey, second place? Ain't yeah. yeah. But it was us getting together every week. And, uh, you know, we knew the people there. We were all friends. Yeah. Lots of jokes, lots of laughter. And that's really what I realized. To me, seeing it from uh, the first point of view, D&D really just seemed like a gem of friendships. See, in the with bowling the, the trick for us was to start out horrible and get the handicap get that handicap <laughs> and then see the, then go mediocre <laughs> to the championship yeah. the, the thing is uh you know i started off horrible because i was horrible yeah, right. we yeah. So I was, yeah. and then suddenly we're like hey a couple times down we're like i can break a hundred getting the hang of it i'm gonna yeah. beat people that can Break but two hundred. Also, could handicap. have been alcohol. Just like yeah, uh, fair enough. Just before, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, There's that a sweet spot out. when bowling for well, sure. When <laughs> when was school. there a before? <laughs> middle school, I think, right? But you know, yeah, no, there's a little bit after that. Um, so it was snowflakes. I don't. I thought we were high school. But we're 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 going off off yeah. the rails. <laughs> we digress, <laughs> yeah. like way but, far away. You know, like way when you're bowling, away. a lot of people help. You know, get you gear. You know, maybe someone will loan you their bowling ball or, 
you know, their shoes or whatever. And when I showed up, the guys were really cool. They let me borrow some of their dice because I, mm-hmm. I don't have any dice. Yeah. And there's like, what, how many do you guys play with? Six or something? Uh, st- seven, seven is okay. the standard set. Yeah. So do you mm-hmm. get better or is it luck? Um, I, you know, a lot of it like does come down at bowling <laughs> and then we got better. And then you got better. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I would say that you can get um, better, you know, because there are definitely abilities that you can use to a greater or lesser degree as you mm-hmm. learn how to use them. There's this thing called action economy, uh, you know, j- just like a... Strategies, but the dice well, in itself, that is where... That's where uh, it just gets random. Yeah, unless you, know? unless you become like, unless you like really practice that and like go to Vegas and like you get, get like money. probability of... Of different numbers. Yeah, there's abilities that um, that 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 toy with the probability of the dice. Mm. Like for example, there's a character who uh, every time you start a new session, they get to roll two dice, and then you record those numbers. And any time throughout the session, if somebody rolls something that maybe you don't you don't like, or uh, they fail something when you were hoping they would succeed. This character has an ability to just say, nope, they get an 18 oh, instead. Oh, nice. And so that's pretty cool. So there is ways to okay. sort of, you know, you know, um, <laughs> game the system a little bit, but it's baked in. Do you got any uh, final words about uh, either Chronicles of the Coast or just Show that D&D? t-shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we Let's see that there. A little t-shirt here. Yeah. It's nice, man. Check out that logo. Cool. Look them up. Yeah, you can find You guys make that? Yeah, nice. yeah I, I made this. Um, oh, you made it. Well, I made it with a dude I met on um, like a Facebook art page. Okay, he lives in yeah, Greece, yeah. And he's mm-hmm. a super badass dude. He, he was doing some art for a while. His name's Alexander Rapticus. Now he does music. And Shout everything. out, That's Alexander. That's a cool yeah. name, man. Super cool yeah. dude. Like, <laughs> what he a does name. music for like uh, RPGs and games and stuff. Oh, wow. So. He so you kind of tell him what this. you want. He puts it together, kind of. Yeah. Xander nice. Rapticus. Yeah, right. <laughs> Very cool, dude. Um, dude. That name is dope. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you can Close. find us on uh, Twitch on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Um, we'll, we'll be off for a couple weeks just because of Christmas and the holidays and Makes New Year's sense. and all that stuff. Um, but it's twitch.tv backslash Chronicles OTC. Check it out. Yeah. I like rolling dice. Well, I'm either going to die or this is my first quest. Right? (laughs)